Okay. Raise your hand. Raise one hand if you think that animals have rights. Any hand left or right? Okay. Now, if you think that you are ready to stand up for animal rights, raise both hands. If you are ready to stand up for animal rights, or at least if you are ready to protect the animals around you, raise both hands. Thank you. Now, let us see. Animal rights. When we say animal rights, animal rights are the rights that animals, irrespective of their species, irrespective of their differences, have in order to live a life free from suffering and pain. Okay. Why is this important? Why is this important? It is important because we have to know that animals suffer the same degree as human beings when they are harmed or they also have they have, we, we have to know that they suffer the same degree as us. Understand? Are we all clear? Now, when we say, how should we protect animals? How should we protect animals? How should we save them? How should we go about standing up for, for their rights? There are many ways, but right now I will highlight only three. Number one. Number one, stop going to circuses and zoos. Let us stop going to circuses and zoos. Why? Because in circuses, animals, in, even in zoos and circuses, animals are tortured. They do not like being there. Animals want to roam freely in the wild. How will we feel if we are kept in a cage, not unable to get out, 24-7, we will, we will be there inside the cage. How will we feel? That's how animals feel. They feel fed up. They, they have no, nowhere to roam around. So we have to stop going to circuses and zoos. And now, number two. Let us stop using cosmetics that are tested on animals. This is especially for us girls. Even I don't want to go out without wearing makeup or my cosmetics but the thing here is we should be aware that these cosmetics and makeup are tested on animals have you seen in facebook and all where animals are kept in a clinic in laboratories and those cosmetics or whatever those makeups are tested on them they have burns on their skins they have burns on their eyes, red eyes. They are unable to see. They are unable to see around them. That's how. That is how we should stop. That is the reason why we should stop using cosmetics and makeups that are tested on animals. Number three. Let us watch our mouth. You know, sometimes when we are angry with someone, we call them dogs, you donkey, you buffalo, right? Those words are actually species, okay? Like we have words that are racist. Racist words are used by the, exper the, the superior race towards the inferior race. We know, I, I don't want to say those words, but we know what are racist words, right? So let's also stop using these species words. Now, when we look at Luke 12, 6, it says, Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, yet what, not one of them is forgotten by God? What does this tell us? It tells us that even God does not forget even a single sparrow. If God does not forget even a single sparrow, why should we forget? We are God's creation. Sparrows and all the other animals are also God's creation. Why should we forget them? Why should we harm them? Harm them? Are we clear? Mm -hmm. So, 
let us all be loving, kind, sympathetic towards animals. Thank you.